What's going on guys? My name is Lane and I'm a registered nurse and nurse practitioner student. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite podcast that I use to review content in NP school. Let's get into today's video. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I get tired of using the same study methods over and over again, and I just need something to switch it up with my learning. Um, so I found recently that podcasts have really helped me to review content when I'm on the go, whether that's a long car ride on the way to clinical, or I'm at the gym trying to get a quick workout in, or just other times when I'm really struggling to balance work, life, and school. So here are some of the podcasts that I've been checking out and that I use to help me review content, and I hope that maybe some of these help you too. So the first podcast that I really like is called Med Geeks. And this podcast is geared for primary care clinicians as well as urgent care providers. And it seems like it's really specifically geared towards nurse practitioners and physician's assistants, which I found really helpful just to hear kind of that perspective of things um, and that transition into practice. They also have plenty of content on patho review, diagnosis and management uh, tips, and they always update their guidelines as well. And I just love the fact that it's only about 20 minute long episodes. So so it's enough that if you're doing a short car ride, you can get an episode in real quick. Or if you're doing a long car ride, you can get a few different episodes in. And it's just a good way for me to just review, even if I've never heard of the topic before, it kind of just wets the palate before I get into my heavy duty studying. Or if I've already studied a lot for an exam, by listening to the content again, it helps me to just reinforce and kind of test myself to see how much I know. Um, so yeah, MedGeeks is a really great podcast. Definitely check it out if you're looking for something like that. So the next podcast that I really like is called Zero to Finals. And this podcast is really great because it, it gives really good basic patho review in only a few minutes. So most of the episodes are less than 10 minutes. It gives you the quick rundown of topics that maybe you've never heard about before, like nasal polyps, something like that, that you can kind of get like a snack, a content snack, if you would, um, of information and kind of start reviewing it. Um, and they also give good general clinical pearls that you can apply to practice. One bit of caution that I would give about this one is that it is based in the UK. So some of the guidelines for management might differ a little bit from American standards. So I would say when you're studying, definitely make sure that that's matching up. But the basic patho, basic treatment management things are pretty much the same. So I like to use this. I like to give it a quick listen to maybe the first time I'm listening to content or reviewing that kind of content um, to just kind of introduce myself to what the topic is. Okay, so another podcast that I really love is called The Curbsiders, an internal medicine podcast. And this podcast is hosted by doctors. So it's mostly geared towards um, internalists, hospitalists, um, but all of the things that they're talking about can be applied to nurse practitioners, um, especially those of us who are looking towards primary care. It's still great information. They bring on a lot of hosts and that are experts in their field and they talk about in-depth, meaty subjects and break it down for you. Um, like AFib, congestive heart failure, pulmonary hypertension, things that are very complex and you wanna make sure that you're managing well, they do break it down very, very well. And they also talk about the different um, trials and research that is out there that is backing up the information that they are presenting. Now, I will say that these episodes tend to be a little bit more lengthy. So the average that I've seen is about an hour for their episodes and sometimes it's even about an hour and a half, but it still is high yield information. So if you have a clinical that's pretty far away, this is definitely something that you can listen to um, on your way there and it just helps to reinforce maybe things that you've heard about in class. And this is something that I'm probably honestly gonna continue to listen to even as I graduate and I transition into practice because I just think that it's amazing information and they're always updating it. So it's a great way to stay informed about um, new updates updates and new research that's coming out. Another podcast that I like is called PA Study Sesh. And this is a podcast that is really geared towards physician assistants and helping them prepare for their boards. But a lot of the content, again, it does transfer to nurse practitioners. Um, so it's really great information. I especially love um, their ortho 
um, coverage and how they really, really get into a lot of different ortho conditions. Um, and something else I love about PA Study Sesh is that they always have practice questions at the beginning of the episodes, and I believe at the end as well. But I love that because it helps me to review at the beginning to say like, oh, I don't even know this topic as well as I thought I did. And this is probably what they're going to talk about during the um, during the episode as well. And then it's nice to have that review at the end and you feel like, oh wow, I really retained something. Um, so I really love that and would recommend to nurse practitioner students as well. So the last podcast that I really like um, is called Real World NP by Liz Rohr. And I love this podcast because Liz is actually a nurse practitioner and she's been out uh, in practicing for about five years. So she still kind of understands what students need to hear and new to, new to practice nurse practitioners kind of need to know to really get out there. Um, so a lot of her episodes are surrounding things like time management, billing and coding, but she also has a lot of content regarding um, just managing complex conditions. So she has some case studies about diabetes management, chronic kidney disease. Um, so she has plenty of actual like content as well, but I also like that she integrates things that kind of help you with your professional development. Um, so this is probably a podcast that I'm also going to listen to as I'm transitioning into practice and would definitely recommend. All right, guys, so those are all of my recommendations for podcasts I like to listen to when I'm trying to review content in NP school. I hope you like this video, and I would love to hear about podcasts that you listen to. I'm always down for a new podcast because I really do listen to these like every single week. So please comment below with your favorite podcast for content review, and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.